On behalf of the Faculty Association, welcome to the Circle of Excellence celebration. I am Renee Cambiano, and I currently serve as the Faculty Council President. As I was reflecting on what I was going to say today, I couldn't help but think about the heritage of NSU and the individuals that have gone before us, those that walked the path that we now walk. They inspired us, they've mentored us, and they've critiqued us and helped us become the faculty we are today. Let me tell you a little bit about the Circle of Excellence. Well, it's nominated by faculty and selected by faculty. The first honor was in 1964 when Haiti Props was announced as the faculty member of the year. In 1999, it was renamed Circle of Excellence and started honoring faculty in teaching, research and service as it is today. This honor is nominated by faculty and chosen by faculty that have received the honor in the past. In 1997, bricks honoring each faculty member were installed in the Circle of Excellence in front of Seminary Hall. In 2016, the bricks were moved to the Circle of Excellence Star or Plaza, south of the library here on the Tahlequah campus. This brick star is a lasting tribute to all faculty members who have, have been selected since the inception of the award. Do you know how lucky faculty are? We are able to imp impact lives forever. We are teachers and mentors, facilitators, scholars and researchers. We are Northeastern State University faculty. We are the best of the best faculty. I feel I'm honored and privileged to walk among you. Cheryl Sandberg said it is the ultimate luxury to combine passion and contribution, and that is a very clear path to happiness. We have found our path, and we are creating the paths for the next generation to be successful. My friends, Faculty create paths for thinkers and dreamers. We create paths for our students to question and criticize. We challenge students to discuss important social issues. We help students challenge themselves beyond their own expectations. We help students understand that the quality of their life will be determined by the choices they make and have them take responsibility for their actions. We create paths that are deep in the beginning and start to diminish as our students start to create their own path. Let me take this moment to thank all faculty for your contributions along this path. And on behalf of the Faculty Association, welcome to the Circle of Excellence celebration of the best of the best faculty at Northeastern State University. I want to offer a heartfelt congratulations to this year's Circle of Excellence winners. We know those three areas of research, teaching, and service are something all of our faculty practice, but to go above and beyond and also to be recognized by peers for their outstanding efforts in those areas is amazing. And I'm so proud of each one of you this year for your accomplishments and for being chosen. I want to thank you for not only your accomplishments, but more importantly, the difference you've made in the life of our students. Despite all that's gone on this past year, our faculty have continued with their instructional expertise, teeth, um, their creativity, innovation, service learning, research, all of those important criteria to having a quality academic experience for our students. That environment has been preserved this past year, and I couldn't be more proud of all of our faculty, but in particular, the three that were chosen this year and respected for their efforts. They are excellent examples of the outstanding faculty that we have here at NSU. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Steve Turner, president of Northeastern State University. What a joy. What a delight it is for me to join you this year as we recognize 
the fiscal year 20 and fiscal year 2021 Circle of Excellence recipients. I, I know that those of you that were selected a year ago uh, experienced delays in recognition, but that did not diminish the importance of your accomplishment. And this year to the 2021 recipients, uh, I'm also glad that we're able to come together this time, this spring, and recognize you uh, before the semester gets away from us. So to both groups, let me say I am sorry that COVID-19 has changed so many things of our day-to-day -day life, but please know it does not uh, dampen our uh, in enthusiasm to recognize your accomplishment. It doesn't change our zeal to celebrate with you. Uh, I think it's outstanding that, uh, that this program began in 1964. Some 57 years ago, we got together and uh, the peers separate, uh, part, the peers got together and recognized kind of the faculty member of the year. And it was, each year it was just one person and it was that way for a little bit. And the program expanded over time and then Ultimately, it was decided that there would be three different and unique recognitions for teaching, service, and research. And so to those that were selected last year and those that were, uh, that were selected this year, let me just give you a heartfelt congratulations and thank you on behalf of the entire institution as to what you're doing in the classroom and in the lives of young people and to make NSU a great place to get an education. Uh, as I look at the bios of each of you and recognize what you've done, it makes it easy for me to recognize that uh, you're reinforcing the fact that student success is our mission and it's job one. And I am so proud of each of you because your peers uh, recognize what you're doing They've evaluated what you're doing and they've stopped long enough to make nominations to the committee that ultimately has selected you. So with that, let me go back and recognize for 2020 for teaching, uh, Dr. Jonica Iyer, congratulations. For service, Dr. Luke Foster. For research, Dr. Sean Kim. So congratulations to each of the uh, spring 2020 Circle of Excellence recipients. Now let's look at the 2021 recipients. For teaching, we have Dr. Elisa Proctor. Congratulations, Dr. Proctor. For service, we have Dr. Suzanne Farmer. Congratulations, Dr. Farmer. And for research, we have Dr. Halil Kaya. Congratulations, Dr. Kaya. Let me just say that you are joining an elite group. Over the last 57 years, including the three recipients this year, NSU has only recognized a total of 124 recipients. Two of those were recognized at two different times. So at the end of the day, in all of these years, in 57 years, only 122 of our faculty had been recognized. Wow, that is something to be proud of. So to each of you, congratulations. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, to Dr. Cambiano and the committee that was responsible, let's keep raising the bar and expect great things to happen as we enter into a post-COVID world. Again, congratulations. Let's move on with the celebration. Uh, and thank you all for joining me today and inviting me to offer an introduction to this version, the 2020 version of NSU Faculty Circle of Excellence. Congratulations again, all. Because of the circumstance of last year, we were unable to celebrate the 2019 and 2020 Circle of Excellence honorees. So today I'm excited to announce and celebrate those individuals that earned this honor in 2019, 2020. The Circle of Excellence Honoree for Research is Dr. Kim. Dr. Kim is a professor 
of Chemistry in the Department of Natural Sciences. He earned his PhD in biochemistry from Texas Tech University, where he continued his studies in biochemistry. He began his teaching and research career at Baylor University. Currently, he is a professor of chemistry and also the chair of the graduate program in natural sciences. His research aims to understand the interactions between enzymes and to develop probes to detect important proteins or muted genes. He has numerous publications in journals and enjoys doing research with students and is passionate about teaching chemistry and biochemistry. The 2019-2020 Circle of Excellence Honoree in Research, Dr. Kim. My name is Song Gong Kim, and they call me Sean Kim as well. I really want to thank uh, everyone, especially NSU undergraduate students research in my research group, and also a graduate student in my research group. It's all teamwork. So when you look at the uh, uh, papers in science especially, and there is not only one a single author, there are so many authors in there. And that's uh, uh, their help. So especially undergraduate students and graduate students, and NSU students, they, are, they did almost everything. And then it's, uh, also my colleagues in my department, biology, chemistry, and physics, and also uh, assistant, associate, and dean, and also uh, president, provost, and uh, uh, purchasing agents, agents, and also uh, grant office people and staff. I really appreciate their help. Uh, important thing in my uh, submission was uh, uh, my research articles. So. Uh, my research papers, and there are a lot of effort and time in that articles. So uh, students worked a lot, and a lot of uh, uh, they went through a lot of pain and uh, and effort and time and uh, patience and perseverance. I'm I'm involved in the uh, uh, faculty research committee, and so that one is the. Uh, people need some seed money to develop their research, and then uh, we evaluate their proposals. Many students will be surprised about the uh, faculty members' deep research, so you guys can have a hands-on experience. I think this is really beneficial to um, NSU students, and we, and we try to make NSU great and uh, I really enjoyed my research and then uh, I'm very lucky to have this honorable uh, award. The 2019-2020 Circle of Excellence honoree for service is Dr. Foster. Dr. Foster is a faculty member in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. He has taken every opportunity to serve. He has served professionally in numerous ways, including Conference Committee for Research Council on Mathematics Learning, Fellow for the Chinese Studies in Institute, Math Pathways Committee, and many other um, committees and conferences. Foster believes that there are individuals who devote their entire life to serv service without sparing a thought for themselves. He is striving to be that kind of person. He basically, is a teacher that wants to value every opportunity to help someone. If he can help meet someone's needs, no matter how small, then that is the goal. He can, if he can be enriched by the process, then that's a bonus. The Circle of Excellence 2019-2020 Circle of Excellence Honoree for Service, Dr. Foster. Hello, my name is Lucas Foster, and I am Associate Professor of Mathematics in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science at Northeastern State University. I would like to express my gratitude and thanks to the Circle of Excellence Committee for this prestigious award. I can honestly say that winning this award is a highlight of my career. Over, you know, I've been in Tahlequah now since, back in Tahlequah since 1997. So 
over the, that amount of time, I've had opportunity to serve quite a different groups and individuals. So um, I submitted all of the work that I did through the Tahlequah Public Schools Foundation, which has been a big chunk of what I've done. I've been on that in that group for like 20 years now. We raise money for teachers uh, in the local school system to help enhance classrooms. So that's cool. Uh, and I've recently, in the last seven years, been involved with CASA. I don't know if you know what CASA is, but my, it's a court-appointed special advocate. So I represent um, neglected and abused youth in courtrooms. A big chunk of my time is taken up with the faculty research committee that I chair. Um, you know, we, we're in charge of um, evaluating grants that are submitted so that faculty can get their research um, projects funded internally. As I said in my um, application, um, you can either serve yourself or you can serve other people. That's a choice you always make. And I've been uh, blessed enough to have opportunities to serve other people. Again, I'm thankful for this opportunity, and I plan on building on it. And I, I, you know, I want to encourage other people who are also involved in service of any kind uh, on this campus to go ahead and apply for this award because it's um, it's very rewarding, and um, it makes you feel like you are, you know, making a real difference um, in your small campus world, and, and a difference that hope you hope can affect more and more people as each day passes. So again, I'm very thankful. And uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to everyone involved and a very happy guy today. Thank you. The 2019-2020 Circle of Excellence honoree for teaching is Dr. Iyer. Dr. Iyer is a faculty member in the Department of Natural Science. She received her Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry followed by a Master of Science in Biotechnology from India. She pursued her doctoral studies in molecular and cellular biology at Stony Brook University in New York and thereafter joined Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation as a postdoc fellow. After completing the postdoc fellowship with OSU Center of Health Sciences, she joined NSU's faculty. Dr. Iyer teaches biology courses and her teaching philosophy is, in, is to impart information in an environment that promotes the overall educational growth and development of her students. The 2019-2020 Circle of Excellence honoree in teaching, Dr. Iyer. My name is Janaki Iyer, and I am a biologist in the Net Department of Natural Sciences in the Breconera campus. I was awarded the Circle of Excellence in the teaching category, and it is an understatement to say how humbled I am to be bestowed with this honor. I think one of the most important things about teaching is that it is a constantly evolving process. And so in order to teach someone, you have to learn yourself. And that learning is a constant process. So you never stop learning and there's constant technologies, there's new information that keeps coming out. So you have to be willing to put in that effort to get all that information and then assemble that in a way so that others are able to understand and appreciate those topics. So what I would take out from this is teaching is not a very easy profession, but it is a very rewarding profession because when you see how students are able to learn different topics and complex topics and they're able to apply that in their daily lives, it gives you a certain sense of satisfaction. I would like to thank all my mentors and peers who have provided me guidance throughout my journey. And a big kudos goes to my students who helped me become a better instructor. Amongst all of this, my family could also be thanked because of the immense support that they have provided. Thus, this is actually a reflection of the efforts of all of these people. And thus, I thank all of you for this honor. My name is uh, Dr. Dragos Andinescu. I'm Tyler Brown. I'm from Muskogee, Oklahoma. I am an associate uh, professor of chemistry. I graduated with the HHP Health and Human Performance and a minor in chemistry. Dr. Kim uh, had and continues to have a significant positive impact. He's one of those teachers that cares a lot about his students, so he sees potential in all his students, and he will strive to make sure that they reach their full potential. 
it's not at all surprising that he was nominated uh, and awarded the Circle of Excellence uh, Award for his research. Congratulations, Dr. Kim, on your Circle of Excellence Award. My name is Kent Thompson. Uh, I've been here since 1991, so this is the end of my 30th year of teaching here. I teach in the College of Business. I'm Joe Prout, the Executive Director of CASA of Cherokee Country. CASA is an acronym for Court Appointed Special Advocates. I think one of Luke's strengths is that he likes people. So I think students see that, that he enjoys teaching. Uh, Lucas has been with us, well, it'll be seven years in October this year. And during that time, he has served 18 children. He has a passion for helping children. He has a passion for seeing that children are safe. He wants all children to be happy. And he thinks that's their right. And so he works to make sure that happens in the cases that he takes. I would say you're having an impact. I would say students remember you. I would say uh, your time at NSU has been well spent. Congratulations, Dr. Luke Foster. Congratulations, Dr. Foster, for your Circle of Excellence Awards. It's well deserved. Uh, my name is Dr. Mark Paulison. I'm a professor of biology in the Department of Natural Sciences at NSU. My name is Mackenzie Bonowitz. I'm a master's student in natural sciences. Started my undergraduate career here in 2017. I got my bachelor's in 2020 in cell molecular biology and just transitioned to my master's because of Dr. Iyer. I wanted to stay on and continue to do research. I would say she is one of the most friendly and engaging people I've ever met. Her students just love her. She's constantly thinking about ways to improve her classes and improve the way that she does things, both in, in her research and also in her classes. So she's a very dedicated, um, very thoughtful individual. Thank you, Dr. Iyer, for helping me uh, through my academic career, for being a friend, for being a mentor, for making any and all suggestions through, to help guide me through my academic and professional career. It is my honor and privilege to announce the 2020-2021 Circle of Excellence Honorees. The Circle of Excellence Honoree for Teaching is Dr. Proctor. Dr. Proctor is a professor in the Oklahoma College of Optometry. When not teaching class, you will find her supervising students at school screenings, vision therapy clinic, or in the infant vision clinic. To date, Dr. Proctor is the infant vision clinic chief and the primary care ocular disease residency supervisor. She is also the faculty advisor for student volunteer optometric services to humanity, where she's taken mission trips to Honduras, the Brazilian Amazon River and Nigeria. She enjoys volunteering at the Special Olympics Opening Eyes. She moved to Tahlequah in 2005 to complete a family practice residency. She is a graduate of the Michigan College of Optometry at Ferris State University. The Circle of Excellence honoree for teaching, Dr. Proctor. My name is Alyssa Proctor, and I'm a professor of optometry at the Northeastern State University Oklahoma College of Optometry. I am honored to be the recipient of the 2021 Circle of Excellence Award in Teaching. I'd like to thank the Circle of Excellence Committee as well as Dr. Neil Whittle who nominated me for their faith in my ability to continue to represent um, excellent teaching. Growing up in Muskegon, Michigan, I have thought about where did I want to be, where did I have this desire <laughs> to be a teacher? And it probably goes back to my parents. My mom was a stay-at-home mom who served in our church being a drama director and teaching in the children's department. My dad, an avid reader, taught me to learn to love to ask questions and read and grow my mind. From there, I wanted to be a teacher from a very early age, but then I also wanted to be an eye doctor. I pursued optometry and fell in love with the profession. 
and had great teachers and mentors through high school, undergrad, and optometry school at the Michigan College of Optometry in Big Rapids. When I did my residency here at Northeastern State University, I was again surrounded by excellent mentors who took me under their wing and taught me clinically, as well as excellent tips to mentor students and to teach in the classroom. I wouldn't be who I am without their influence. Mostly, I've learned a tremendous amount from my students and my residents and my family. My kids, Jackson Ashton, you are my greatest teachers. I am on an adventure every day with you guys. And my husband, who I would say is the trained educator in our family, um, has always been a wonderful springboard of ideas and shared influences, especially as he pursued his doctorate degree. I feel like I got to learn alongside of him. And I'm forever grateful to you, Jason, for all that you pour into me. Finally, I'd just like to thank my colleagues who continue to come alongside me and challenge me and encourage me and work with me every day. I'm blessed to be a part of this profession and be a part of the College of Optometry here at Northeastern State University. Thank you so much, and I look forward to many more years of working alongside you. The Circle of Excellence honoree for research is Dr. Kaya. He is a professor of finance, and his research interests include corporate finance, financial markets, and entrepreneurship. He has over 120 journal publications in, in these areas two of which have received the Best Paper Award at academic conferences. Before coming to NSU in 2013, he taught at Eastern Kentucky, Kansas State University, Texas Tech University, and is affiliated with Financial Management Association, Southern Finance Association, Southwestern Finance Association, and Kentucky Economic Association, where he served as president. The Circle of Excellence Honoree in Research, Dr. Kaya. Hello, my name is uh, Halil Kaya. I'm a finance professor at NSU Broken Arrow Campus. And this year I uh, received the Circle of Excellence in Research Award. I have uh, projects in corporate finance, financial markets, small businesses. And how does the macroeconomy affect uh, companies' financing activities? How does it affect financial markets like uh, liquidity in the market? And how does the conditions affect small businesses? So I specifically, specifically look at the interaction between the macroeconomy and uh, finance. And interestingly, this is kind of an ignored area. In terms of research, I'm not just uh, writing papers, but I have to do other things as well. You have to love the whole thing, whole process, not just writing, but you need to be everywhere. I'm very happy. Uh, uh, also, I'm grateful. It feels very good. And I'm honored uh, also to be selected uh, for this award. And this gives me more motivation and energy for the future projects. Uh, I'm already working on some projects with my colleagues here, so it will continue like that but it gives me more energy. So I'm very grateful and I'm, I'm very thankful uh, to my university for supporting research. Uh, they are very supportive. So thank you very much. The Circle of Excellence honoree in service is Dr. Farmer. Dr. Farmer is a native of the Delta in Southeast Arkansas, who joined the faculty at NSU in fall of 2011. Dr. Farmer graduated the BA in History and Political Science from the University of Arkansas, Monticello. She received her MA in History with an emphasis on early modern Europe from Western Illinois and earned a PhD in History uh, from the University of Mississippi. She was named the Director of the Center for Women's Studies at NSU in 2016, and has since worked to bring programming on campus that highlights the mission and values of NSU. The Circle of Excellence honoree for service, Dr. Farmer. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Suzanne Farmer. I'm humbled and honored to be recognized by my peers for my service on campus and in the community. It means a great deal to me um, that the work that I have done and will continue to do is appreciated and I'm honored to receive the Circle of Excellence in service. The projects that I focused on for um, the Circle of Excellence packet was um, my work with the Center for Women's Studies, my work with the Department of History, um, which was actually what led to me being appointed to director of the Center for Women's Studies. So I helped create the T.L. Ballinger lecture with Dr. Ven Dennis Vavchenko, um, and I'm the historian the historical internship coordinator um, and I do a lot of service learning so that was another aspect that I highlighted. I take my students out to historical sites as part of classes and we do community service with um, historical sites and I also do that within the intro to WGS class. Students have to do a service learning project and I oversee all of those um, so I highlighted some of that aspect and then also I'm program coordinator for the center uh, or for the women and gender studies minor um, and when I started the the gen ed class uh, which is intro to women and gender studies it wasn't on the gen ed curriculum now it is and we're producing all these credit hours and we have more students who are in the classes so that's some of the kind of work that I highlighted for them. I'd like to thank several people who I feel are instrumental uh, to my success and the success of the work that I do. Uh, thank you to President Dr. Steve Turner and Provost Dr. Deb Landry for their gracious support um, and participation with the Center for Women's Studies. I've had a number of mentors while I've been at NSU including Professors Emerita, Dr. Brad Agnew, and Dr. Billy Joe Davis, Dr. Chris Owen, uh, former Dean Phil Bridgman, and current Dean of COLA, Dr. Mike Chancellor, who has been a great supporter of my work and efforts with the Center for Women's Studies. I'd also like to thank my colleagues and friends who I can always turn to with a project um, and they participate and or frequently insist in making it a reality. Dr. Peggy Glenn, Dr. Dan Savage, Dr. Ben Kroc, Dr. Robin Persley, Dr. Dana Eversole, Dr. Chris Flavin, Dr. John Clark, Dr. Aldell Shelburn, Phyllis Wildman, Christopher Murphy, Dr. Jennifer Edwards, Dr. Farina King, Dr. Shannon Bridgman, Dr. Dennis Vachanko, Sarah Barnett, Dr. Candessa Teehee, and all the members of the advisory board for the Center for Women's Studies. And I'd also like to thank my family and my spouse, Dr. Joe Farmer, for his love and support and his help with everything that we do. Hi, I'm Christina Flagg. I'm originally from Lawton, Oklahoma. And my name is Kayla Cook. I'm from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Dr. Proctor has been both a classroom and a clinical professor to us. She has been the best friend that I could possibly have. Dr. Proctor is a very caring person. Uh, she works well with kids. She works well with everyone, but especially kids in the pediatric population. Um, and that just is a reflection of her kind and caring personality and demeanor. Dr. Proctor, um, thank you so much for coming into my life. You've been an amazing mentor and a good friend these past four years and hope to continue that relationship. Congratulations on this award. You deserve it. Um, I can't think of anything, anyone else who deserves this award as much as you. So congratulations. Thank you for being there for us. And we can look forward to continuing our relationship. I'm Miranda Skinner, and I'm currently a senior here at NSU. I'm from Carl Junction, Missouri, and I'm a double major in History and American Indian Studies. Um, personally, I think Dr. Farmer is kind of a firecracker. She's very, she's very smart, and she's very brilliant, honestly, in my words. I would describe Dr. Farmer as powerful. Dr. Farmer is the kind of person that lights up a room um, and that she is not afraid to speak her mind. She's always willing to give advice, plus she's just so giving and I just love that about her. We're in our, her like upper classes before the pandemic, she would like invite us over for dinner and we'd all get to like discuss with her and she'd show us around her house and it was just really cool to be able to know her as a person. Dr. Farmer has always gone out of her way to make me feel welcomed. She just showed me how it was to be a historian and pursue your scholarly interests. She's really shown me um, what a strong woman looks like. I'm Brian Jackson, Associate Professor of Accounting and Economics for Northeastern State. My name is Julia Kwok. I'm the Department Chair of Accounting and Finance as well as a Professor of Finance.
Dr. Kai is a wonderful individual. Uh, he uh, first, I believe, is uh, has a great demeanor and uh, con uh, passion for teaching. Dr. Kai is a scholar. If you look at uh, his publishing record, you will know he has uh, over 125 journal articles that are either published or forthcoming. I'm so glad that you get the recognition for the Circle of Excellence Award. Well, Dr. Kaya, I, I want to congratulate you on this award. And um, you have contributed significantly to the department and um, you help our students, you help our faculty members, for all those who have co-author papers with you. And I would love to see that you are being recognized. And congratulations. And uh, continue to uh, do your work. And um, you know, it's just, it's so great to have colleagues like you uh, at NSU. Thank you. I truly feel that the faculty at Northeastern State, as stated in our mission, have high expectations for student success. We provide quality teaching, cha challenging curricula, and engage in research and scholarly activities that impact not only our NSU community, but regional, national, and international communities. As you can see, the faculty role is multifaceted, filled with passion and purpose.